<laughs> it's the Super Show Podcast. <laughs> Episode 7. We think 7. Yeah, so we just got our first strike on YouTube for bullying. We reacted to the classic video of the meth head in Walgreens meeting a child. And uh, I definitely wouldn't call it a classic. Yeah, it's not a classic. Definitely yet. not a classic. But yeah, so YouTube gave us a strike. We got our first strike. So I think we have one more to spare. No, I think you get three. That's what I'm saying. Like third strike, you're oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. One more to spare, I guess. So I think we got the strike because we played the whole video. Like we posted. No, we, it was definitely probably for the content. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Was that video on? That video was on YouTube. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I I have no clue. So we're just going to talk about the video. Kyle? No, dude. It's dark. It's dark. Yeah. At first, we thought he was innocent. We thought that he was just there to get butt pills. Dude, I just wanted him to be innocent. I don't even want to explain it because it was a dark video, dude. This guy just had to shit. Yeah, he had the shit real bad. He was walking like he had the shit. He was throwing his hips back and forth. He was a skinny Asian man. Yeah. And then he uh then then the guy who was recording him was showing pictures of his butthole to like everybody in the store. Because people were trying to stop him from recording the guy who was there to meet the kid. And he's like, this is him. And he's holding up a picture of that guy's butt. His butthole. Wasn't good. Wasn't good. So that's Classic not... pedo catchers. Classic pedo catchers. I went back and listened to that podcast, and it was fucking hilarious. Damn. Damn. We lost a good one. See, I'm sure we could, uh, I'm sure you could put it up without, uh, you could, like, blur the video. Dude, coming to you, Patreon. I think it was bullying <laughs> because in the video, the guy was like harassing the fuck out of him. And then we're pausing it and then we're shitting on the guy. Oh, is that why it got reported? Did you, did it say bullying? No. Oh. The, the title was like Meth Head Predator. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's going to like flag any AI. <laughs> But that's what the video was called. You you should have put catching, catching meth head predator. <laughs> True. <laughs> I, I literally put. In, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh man, damn it, dude! That that uh video, us and Charles has seventy two views. Oh yeah. <laughs> so dude, I really think that's that... right now. That's right now, dude. One day, dude, they're gonna be like, "What? It had seventy-two views. It had seventy-two million right now." <laughs> Charles, Charles is super famous. <laughs> Took flight, just goes big, and then we're just he riding just, on the back. He just takes flight, dude. Then gone. we ride on the backs of Charles. Hey, hey, I will. <laughs> Dude, big thing. Big things coming. <laughs> we, I swear to God, we're about to be famous in the next week. Week? Dude, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Something. I can feel it. Cut to next week. We're just both just Robin Williams up, hanging off a door. Oh. <laughs> just because we didn't get. More than fucking 50 subscribers on this. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Do you think that'll get us a strike? The interview only has 85 views. Do <laughs> you think that'll get us a strike? No. I was just saying we're going to be making really funny jokes about a, a, a 
a little green guy like Flubber. You know what I mean, Robin Williams? <laughs> so I got last in the fantasy football league, and I have to go to Waffle House probably this weekend. Are you doing it this weekend? Probably, or the weekend right when I get back from Arkansas. Dude, that'd be tight if you did it this weekend. It would be. So his it challenge sucks. is his challenge is, is he has to go to Waffle House for a I guess maximum you should say of what was it, sixteen or twelve? It's twelve. Twelve hours. It should so be he, a little he's signing up for a twelve hour trip, but every waffle he eats knocks an hour off of his trip. Yeah. So if he can eat twelve waffles in one hour, he can walk out of there in one hour. I really do. Waffle House waffles, big boy. Do you know what I should do? Is I should go in there and eat, just try to eat them as fast as I can, and then like no. to the point where I just fall asleep. No, I say you turn on a good movie. You set it up on right there, and you get, I'd say, three waffles off rip. And you eat those three waffles, but you kind of space it out. You get sucked into the movie, and then maybe maybe after you finish the movie, you just get one waffle to where you got four waffles down easy. You just watch the movie, and then you start another movie. And then, I should bring fucking edibles. That's a slippery slope. You should bring a cart. Yeah. If, it's inedible, like, I'll just if, get way too high and start freaking out. If, and you, if you, uh eat like a full edible that might be that's adding sitting to your gut you know what i mean you gotta like you gotta prepare you might not want to eat the day before <laughs> just go in there starving starving bro i'm giving you cheating tips right now i feel like i'm cheating yeah. telling me this. i shouldn't be doing this that's a lot of fucking sugar yeah well you took a lot of fucking losses <laughs> let's not forget Everybody likes to do their punishment like seven months after the season's over when like everyone forgets how horrible their team was. Yeah, your team was bad. Yeah. I mean, their manager. Yeah, and no. Didn't do so yeah, good. Yeah, your team was good, but then you made it bad somehow. How about that video that I sent you on Twitter? Oh, that was, that was great. I think I had seen it before, but I don't think I had seen the full thing. Yeah. But now that I sat and watched the full thing, that was great. Tell them what it was. I have not seen it. It's a video of a... Was that a couple? Or was that a random? It was a couple. It was a couple on an airplane. Full it, it just looked like he got caught looking at girls on his phone. No, yeah, but they were on an airplane full of people. And she oh, yeah. started screaming, freaking out. Just like, you can't be looking at other bitches. You got this. You got that. Smacking him, started hitting him. That's when he started getting up. He's like, "No, no!" And everyone's screaming, "You're assaulting! That is assault!" She was she she, him in the back of the head, dude. It's just it's madness. She like kept saying the n word, and then she got up and she looked white. She was. That's right. And I was like, she sounded like she was not white though when she was sitting down. What's that supposed to mean? She sounded like she had. Some slang behind her voice. <laughs> I'll just try to walk you into that one. You're yeah. Green, dude. I ain't getting right. no more strikes, dude. <laughs> I know better. I learned my lesson, YouTube. Oh, but yeah, always... I really felt for the guy in front of the, the dispute or the couple disputing their, their yeah. fucking domestic violence on the airplane. He was <laughs> he just sitting there. Like... Yeah, you could tell. You could tell he paused his music. He had AirPods in, but they weren't playing nothing. <laughs> He was, like, fully invested. It's great. And then, like, the flight attendant, she was telling her that, that there was a kid right behind her. And she's like, I don't give a fuck. I know there's a fucking kid right behind me. <laughs> Maybe this kid will grow up not to look at other bitches. She, she got up. She got up, and then she just fucking started beating the shit out of him in the back of the head. Yeah, she was hammer but, fisting. But when he got up, he started taking off. Like, he knew he was about to get hit. Yeah, no, it definitely wasn't the first time. No. 
It may have not been the first time on an airplane. You know what I mean? She may be banned from multiple flights. True. How many times have you flown on a plane, Ed? Really? Damn, that's crazy. Zero? Yeah, so I'm I'm kind of scared for the Cancun trip. I'm afraid I'm going to spaz that's, out. Yeah, I mean, that's a hell of a trip to be taken on your first trip. I'm not going to lie. Why is that? It's, I mean, it's a six-hour trip. Yeah, on a plane, that's going to be like a trip in half. The most I've ever flown on the airplane. Does the plane shake? Oh, yeah. I'm not ready. I am not ready. <laughs> Dude, when I, uh, when I took out from New York, that was the worst turbulence I've ever felt on a plane. It was so bad. It was so bad. I, I literally had to close my eyes and just tell myself, like, I'm on a bus. I'm on a bus right now. Like, I'm not on a plane. This isn't a plane. We're not shaking. We're just hitting potholes in the sky. Oh my god, we're gonna fuck it. We're dead. I'm 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 dying right now. <laughs> what would you cool. do if a What's plane up? was heading down? If 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 you were in the plane and that thing was going down, or it felt I'm, really bad. Or I you mean, if I looked out like the window, it, have you ever seen the movie Final Destination, the yeah. first one? Yeah, like, if are you asking me that? If I felt like the plane was going to crash? Yes. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be 100% honest. Probably wouldn't do anything. <laughs> Just take it? I'd be like, fuck, man. I'm crazy, dude. I can't. I'm not going to. I'm not going to say nothing. They're going to think I got a bomb. I'd, <laughs> <laughs> I'd instantly start, like, praying. Oh, uh, yeah. Trust me, that's what I was doing when I felt the turbulence, bro. <laughs> you were in there like this. Just... Swear to God. Swear to God. And it was, uh, it might have been at night. Yeah, it was at night, too. It was, like, getting to be nighttime. Yeah. So, it's just, like, that's a whole different, I don't know, a whole different feeling. When you are when you got turbulence at night in the sky, dude, it's like, man, what, what is even going on right now? Jesus Christ. You look out the window, it's not comforting. <laughs> it's not all clouds and fucking yeah, sunshine. Bro. No, but when I flew into New York, it was nighttime again. And that was dope. That was super cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I could see where living in New York forever would get super fucking old. But flying in and like seeing the overview on the city was like, that's a city. That's a city right there. Because then fucking new jersey's right not right next to it right yeah. across the river there so you don't like you don't see the end of a city you know what i mean you know how normally you think of a city and it, you think of the outline of the city like it's like you could see the outskirts no yeah. no it was like literally a concrete jungle it was fucking you could see buildings as far as you could see is what it felt like it was crazy because it was nighttime, so all the lights then were lighting up, too. So it was just, like, it was sweet. Super dope. Anyone that's flown in there knows what I'm talking about. But after you get on there, you strap in. You got to just look around and realize everyone on your on the plane could die with you. And that's comforting. That really is. It's like, man. We're all gone. Gone. I guess this is the people I got. This fat guy over here coughing. This crying baby. <laughs> There's a baby. Oh, so, Kyle. You know, yeah, I've, I've, had, I've had a crying baby on a plane. What'd you Not do? Not cool. Not cool. You just tough it out. Yeah. How about we talk about some of the people that we're having up? Did we? No, we got to let that be surprised. We can't I mean, we don't have to say them. names. We can just say what they do or, or the podcast vibe. Okay. So we're having another local rapper. He's also boxing. So he's a boxer. That is confirmed. His first fight here soon. So we'll have hey. to talk about it with him. That's what I'm talking about. And then we're having on the Bone Collector, and that's gonna be nuts. You are ready for that? I'm no, for that. <laughs> we're about to see some shit. Dude, she's about to cast a spell on us. I hope not. You didn't even think of that. No, 
I know. If if I like get really sick the day after. No, what if you just like every time you go to sleep, it's just like you remember those uh messages that you'd get in like middle school where it's like the forward chain. Yeah. You have to forward the message, like, yeah. or else this girl will be at the end of your bed. <laughs> like, some really. And you're like, oh fight. fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. She hits us with one of those, and it works. <laughs> There's some bitch standing at the end of our bed. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Uh, and then after that, we're having on uh Somebody with a really unique life story, I guess. Yeah, that's right. I've never met the man, but it'll be it'll be interesting. I only know him uh, a little bit, but it'll for sure be funny. Not funny. It'll be serious. We're gonna take it serious, Whoa, bro. Whoa, Not laughing dude. at him. I'm trying to be the next soft white underbelly dude. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> a big show next Monday. Yeah, for all you political folks, all you, all you, all, all you gender neutral folks. folks we're dude, having somebody from the right. We're having somebody from the left, and we're gonna have a debate on Monday on the pod. So what we should do is try to get questions for them to ask. Dude, for all of our fans out there, comment things you want us to ask, and because <laughs> we don't fucking questions. know. Get bad. It's okay. <laughs> we should just start trying to piss off all of our guests. <laughs> just have them freak out and then just by the end of it. Yeah. And then just act really confused. Yeah. Just be like, why are you freaking out? What the what the fuck? This this always happens. You come on my podcast and you act like a fucking fool. All right. So after this video, edit it, we can have it up. And then, uh, if you want to, we can still talk to Took Flight tonight. Ooh, might as well. Yeah. Might as fucking well. So, here's my plan for Took Flight. So, hopefully the people hear this, and then they can go watch the video later on tonight of us talking to Charles. I'm going to go through his Facebook and get oh, some old, up. some old photos of them, and make a slideshow. Show them the 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 slideshow, and have them just explain the photos. Definitely, you should send them to me too, so I can get some questions on the ones you're pulling up. All right, I'll uh, send you half, and then I'll do the other half. I bet. Oh okay. yeah, what an idea! And then we're gonna probably have them get a surprise freestyle room. Oh, we could. Dude, I'll send him a B. I just made one like two nights ago. I'll send it to you and I'll let you listen to it. Tell me if it's like if you think it's Charles ready. And then I'll send it to Charles. It's Charles ready, fucking regardless. <laughs> that, that. Yeah. Hell so yeah. Check out the next pod. Super Show Podcast, episode seven point five.